Before we get into the mailbag, I also have to point out a great bit of fun on cancel culture. Kaylee McEnany, our White House press secretary, absolutely kills it in the job, shreds Jim Acosta every day, makes my heart go pitter patter. Kaylee McEnany nearly got canceled a couple days ago. Why did she nearly get canceled? Because she sent a tweet in 2012, eight years ago, about how much she liked Domino's. I guess to to be precise. It wasn't she who almost got canceled. She's already so toxic for working for Trump that it was almost Domino's Pizza that got canceled for being associated with her. She tweeted out, fun fact, Domino's is way better than any New York City pizza. Domino's responded and said, Kaylee, that's one heck of a compliment. Thanks for the love. We appreciate it. You know, because brands will sometimes just respond to you on Twitter. That's like, this is a thing that happens now. So, Rick Wilson, who is a never Trump lunatic, Rick Wilson retweets this eight years later, retweets Domino's and says, you just killed your brand. You just killed your brand. What? Because they, eight years ago, some social media intern thanked Kaylee McEnany for a compliment. Well, what was going to happen these days? What typically happens is corporate America, everybody buys into the left's premises. They say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Would they cave? doesn't do them any good, and the woke mob moves on and on. That's not what happened here. Domino's responded to Rick Wills and said, Welp, it's unfortunate that thanking a customer for a compliment back in 2012 would be viewed as political. Guess that's 2020 for you. Great answer. They held firm. Coincidentally, the founder of Domino's, it turns out, is extremely Catholic, pro-life. This guy's great, very philanthropic. Maybe that has something to do with the company culture there. But I think we can all learn a thing or two from Domino's. <laughs> Another statement I never thought I'd say. We can learn a thing or two from Domino's here. Don't give them the premise. Don't buy a little lie, a little lie that it's wrong for a pizza company to thank a customer eight years before that customer becomes the White House press secretary, which I guess it's wrong to be that too now for some reason. Don't buy into any of that, even if you think it will appease the mob. Rick Wilson's threat is that the mob was going to destroy Domino's. And Domino's said, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about all that. I'm not, I'm not going to take your bargain to lie and be dishonest and kowtow to you just in the hopes of appeasing the mob. You're never going to appease the mob. You're never going to do it. Mobs don't get appeased. That's like the definition of mobs, right? <laughs> they, do, they are just out for destruction and they're going to get destruction. There are a lot of mobs in the country right now that are out for destruction. Don't give in, whether it's on pizza or whether it's on the police. It seems easy. It seems consequence free. Oh, just post the square. What, remember the black square on Instagram that everybody was posting? Why did people post it? Well, to show that they're not racist. Why do you have to explain yourself to a bunch of liberals to show that you're not a racist or a bigot. Why do, I don't owe any of these people an explanation. The, the white liberals who are demanding the black squares are far more racially conscious, racist, bigoted than I am. I don't, I, I don't need to explain myself to them. I don't need to go along and be intimidated by them. And what's the premise of the black square? The premise of the black square is that there is a systematic slaughter in this country of innocent black men by racist cops or racist white people generally, but the focus is mostly on cops. That isn't true. Not borne out by any statistic. But so many conservatives I know, they posted the square. Said, ah, what's it matter? You know, it's just, it'll make them, it'll make them feel better. It'll make them think that I'm like a good person and, and make them think that I'm less of a bad person, which I guess I think I am. So I'm just going to do it. There is a consequence. Police departments falling apart, cities on fire, politics in shambles. The mob more rapacious than ever before. You haven't been able to prove your virtue to those people and you shouldn't have tried and you don't owe the kind of people that would intimidate you and bully you into that way and, and spread lies in that way, that kind of an explanation. Stand firm. That in the long run is the only way that we're going to maintain any kind of law, order, peace, or harmony. If you enjoyed that break from the disinformation, the historical revision, and the screaming about the end of the world, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss another video.